All right, Curtis, you know, we're here upstairs in the factory at Oneida. We've got um, some pretty cool things behind us. And I want to talk about foam abrasives because foam abrasives have been really game changing in the cabinet repaint um, industry for us and how we go about, you know, prepping our cabinets. And we have up here, this is a whole raw sheet of um, a half inch foam abrasive right here. Yo, can you just give me, um, well, we got a, a little three by four right here. Right here, that um, came out of that. That's gonna come out of that right there. And so can you just uh, talk a little bit about this product that you know, we need to make right here in New York and um, what's so special about it and why it's so really to me awesome. Yeah, you, you hit it on the head. Foam products really revolutionize sanding, especially in between coats of finish. You're always gonna need to go to a coated abrasive like the Film Tech for your initial cut down. But if I had to pick one item for what your customers do, it would definitely be foam. Um, you know, typically fine is gonna be best for in between coats of paint where you wanna get into very fine, super fine, more in between coats of, of, of siller. And the thing about foam is it's very nice in that there's three densities. So if you're doing all flat work, the little thinner five millimeter foam is perfect for that. Cause you're not really needing uh, any type of, of flexibility. You're not trying to get into a profile. Now for profile sanding, the Exosilk Plus foam comes into a, in a half inch, which is a, is, a is a open cell foam. So it's really, really flexible. And then what's really lately, what we're seeing, I'm sure you're seeing a lot of is shaker doors have become the thing. So you've got, you've got that, that center panel that's offset and down, and that's where we come out with the 10 millimeters. So it looks just like this, except it's a closed cell foam. So it's nice and firm. And that's perfect to drop in and you'll go in and sand uh, that, that insert panel and you're able to bump the rest of the cabinet with the foam instead of the sander. Yeah. And this being half inch is just, for profiles, is perfect. You can see it just, just molds right into any kind of profile. Yeah, I mean, we, we use the half inch foam for you know, all your routed edges, rounded edges and stuff. It conforms to all those profiles. And you literally, on a cabinet door, you don't have to like hand sand anything. A three by four sander you know, um, with you know, a half inch foam. Sometimes we're, this is a five millimeter foam. You guys have a 10 millimeter foam. So there's three different sizes. This one is the closed density. Um, the 10 millimeter is closed density, but that's open cell right there. So, I mean, it's the three of them is gonna do anything you need to do, but then you could also use film tech also. So can you just talk a little bit about the, the abrasive? So what type of abrasive is on the top of that? What type of, I guess, we'll, we'll, we'll make it simple, sand. Is it sand? It is not sand. It's aluminum <laughs> oxide. And I imagine um, that it is uh, one of the relatively friable aluminum oxides. So it's going to crack and resharpen easier. You really want that in between coats of finish so you don't cut through. The, the really unique thing about these, if I can get this thing apart is, and the reason why it's, you know, when you start talking about foam and the reason it's such a game changer is in the past, everybody did this with cut sheets, your folding sheets, maybe a sponge, but this stuff is coated to, a, to basically a rubber substrate. So it stretches. That's why you'll get 30 to 40% more life out of this because as it's running, it's stretching. So you're not loading it up. Right. And we talked before about loading and how the, 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 the substrate you're sanding, whether it's raw wood or whether it's a finish, it's gonna to tend to load up in between those yeah. grains. But because this is stretching, it's really helping free yeah. that loading up. But this has just changed everything. You've gone from completely having to do everything by hand to being able to use a machine. And e even in large cabinet companies now, you'll see them on a sanding, on a line with that machine going to work just yeah. like your customers do, you know, when, when they're refinishing a cabinet. Yeah, I know. and when you're talking about loading, um, when I'm doing like, I say a full set of kitchen cabinets, the um, half inch sponges, I don't think I use more than oh, three no. of them. And they don't load, they don't rip and tear. And so it's kind of amazing because I don't know how Unita makes any money doing this because <laughs> we just I sell a lot of them. <laughs> there must Thanks be a to guys like you. Well, yeah, because I, I don't go through very many of them. It's amazing how long they last. They don't load and stuff. So it's if you haven't tried them, the three by four sander coupled with a half inch sponge, it is literally a game changing tool. You got to give it a try. And I think you you touched on it. I think um, you know shaker style doors. If you got any flat sanding, these things work for that too. But I think you know. Um, I guess if you could touch on it just a little bit, you know, um, if you're trying to eliminate grain, like on an oak salad door, um, are you going to sand with a, um, 
half inch spun if you want a flat surface. I mean, is that ideal or not ideal? Um, if, it, if it's a relatively flat part, I would not use a half inch. The, pro the thing about half inch, it's great for the profiles, but you lose a lot of cut. It's not nearly as aggressive as your 10 millimeter and your five millimeter will be. Um, in fact, I would only recommend it for, for, for profiles. A lot of times crown moldings is nice, right. uh, but you do lose a lot of cut because it's receding so much back into the foam, whereas yeah. these are gonna be a lot firmer, a lot yeah. firmer. And for us, you know, you want as firm a surface as you can get when you're sanding. It's right. just, it's a better platen. It's a nice hard surface to sand on. Yeah. So that's definitely gonna do better on, on, on something flat as far as cutting down the grain. Yeah, when we're trying to eliminate grain, um, especially like on oak cabinets, it's pretty popular to um, take oak cabinets, um, grain fill them, sand them, and then a lot of the customers don't even want them to have that profile of oak. I mean, I'm actually going to, instead of a, um, a foam abrasive, I'm using uh, Unitas Film Tech, and Film Tech is something um, better for just really getting that ultra flat surface. Yeah, if you want to flatten out, you still, coated is always going to be more aggressive. And, and like you said, Film Tech to me is, um, I know I talk a lot about it, but it's just my favorite material because it's just, it's that perfect sweet spot. Yeah. You get a good finish like paper, you get the longevity and, and durability of a cloth, and it flat, it sands really, really flat. Yeah. And it's quick. This yeah. is not going to cut as quick a, as a uh, as Film Tech will cut. Yeah. But I, I don't know, I think, um, and we do still see a lot of, of film tech used in between coats of finish. I mean, foam is great. It's not always the, the, the perfect thing for it. In a lot of cases it is. If I had to pick two things in, in, in your industry, it would be film tech for my cut down and all my in-between coats of finish right. would be with a, with a yeah. sponge type product. Yeah, so um, there you have it. They've got some pretty cool information um, about you know foam abrasives. If you haven't tried them, you got to try them. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you got any questions about um, these abrasives, foam abrasives, just leave it down in the comment section below. We'll answer your questions. We'll be right here to help you out. So let us know.